What it do, chums? Welcome to Space JB. I'm your host, Space, and thank y'all for clicking this video. In the city of dreams, no matter if it's a vendor, a fixer, or a ripper doc, V heavily relies on these roles to help turn them into the badass, well, practically invincible merc that we as the players get to develop. And in this video, I want to talk about one of my favorite rippers in Night City, Nina Kravitz. There are more than enough ripper docs in Cyberpunk. Throughout Night City alone, there are plenty to choose from with their own unique looks and backstory. Though new to Night City, Nina was already a globally acclaimed ripper doc working out of the Soviet Union. She ran shops in places like Leningrad and Vienna. Recently, for Nina's 30th birthday present, she was gifted the Westbrook shop that was previously ran by her uncle who was the ripper there before. My uncle rented me the shop because it was my birthday. I'm 30. I will sit here and run the business until I get bored. Prior to meeting Nina, we never get to see the uncle and it's unfortunate because when you enter the shop the first time, the dialogue between the two, V has no chill and basically talks about how ugly the uncle was. You and you here seem to remember this ugly, slimy gonk type of oozing flesh running this shop. And I know what y'all are thinking, space, why the hell is Nina your favorite ripper doc? Is it the blue hair? Is it her fashion? It has to be the accent. Though all of those features are nice, for me, it honestly comes down to the little bit of backstory that we get about Nina, the dialogue interactions from when you first walk into the shop, and lastly, the reasons why Nina loves being a ripper in Night City. Before we dive any further, if you dig this type of content or are just a huge cyberpunk fan like myself, then make sure you zero that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. When meeting the character, she describes herself as somebody who moves around a lot in the ripper biz. So, just starting out in this biz? No, I move around in this biz. Somebody who, after running a few shops in the Soviet Union, decided to give Night City a try. Needless to say, she got hooked and enticed by the wild and crazy happenings that go on in Night City. She drank so much of the Kool-Aid that she may even herself have a secret alias as a DJ or musician by the name of Baranova. As somebody who can easily get sucked into RPGs like this, especially if a game has a lot of lore and backstory, interesting characters, they give you reasons to theorize and dig deeper into a lot of the figures that you meet, and Nina is no different. If you choose to engage with Nina, she talks about words and context how she tends to move around a lot, she's only going to be running the shop until she gets bored, and how life in the USSR was a juxtaposition to that of life in Night City. Nothing like serving up a howler first time you meet someone, talk to them. You think it's a mistake to speak the truth? True or not, it was rude, hurtful. What else would he call it, if not a mistake? Ah, and that is why I love to travel. Words, we think we know how to use them. But then there is context. So, our city of dreams, what do you make of it? It's wonderful. Compared to the USSR, it's so different. Little things like that start to add up and make more sense, especially if you do a little digging into the USSR's population. They were primarily made up of nomadic people. If there is one thing we all know about nomads, them chooms love to move around. After learning that when it comes to rippers, she's globally a big deal, which only led me down the rabbit hole of asking more questions to why and how did she become so recognized? With only a limited amount of information on the character, a lot of my theories are left to speculative imagination and a whole heap of theories. One of these theories comes with a little bit of a backstory about what could have inspired Nina to become a ripper doc. Assuming she grew up in a region full of nomads that honestly could have been some of the smartest engineers on the planet, all with diverse engineering experience that truly helped rebuild the USSR not only financially, but technologically too. Not only did these engineers have their hands involved in the aerial and terrestrial attack drones that I mentioned earlier, but were also heavily involved with Chu-2 power systems. And Chu-2 is the primary fuel source used in Cyberpunk. These fools even invented an AI to help solve all of their region's problems. 
Being in a place that in the last 15 years has made a name for being one of the most reliable and inexpensive tech manufacturing places on the planet, it makes it easy for me to see how Nina could become a Ripper doc. In my mind, it was either Ripper or an engineer slash inventor. Talking with Nina, she also mentions her reasons for sticking in Night City, what she loves about the city in comparison to the USSR. After that, it pretty much finalized to me on why she chose the career path that she's on and also helped shine a little bit more light on why she could be as good as she is. So, our city of dreams, what do you make of it? It's wonderful, compared to the USSR, it's so different. Like it that much, really? Yes, terribly. You shoot at each other in the street. You must pay for first aid, emergency help. It's a nightmare, but so interesting. In no way do I think that her becoming an engineer or an inventor would have been a boring or uneventful job. Yet the life of a Ripper doc would come with his own set of thrills and damn sure enough chaos for somebody who's truly craving that in their day to day career. She just seems to truly love what she does for a living and dare I say is possibly addicted to what NC has to offer. Because just like most of the folks in NC, including us the player as V, all love a bit of chaos from time to time. V practically lives off of chaos and so does Nina. My other theory was framed in a way that had the family's trade being that of Ripper Docs and Nina simply following in those footsteps. Since her uncle was in the trade, I figured maybe her parents or grandparents could have possibly been in the trade as well. The fact that she was making a name for herself in the Soviet Union, knowing her uncle worked in Night City, being a thrill seeker and her birthday coming up could have weighed that in her advantage of asking her uncle to rent out the shop. Both of my theories have Nina throughout her career having chances to work with mercs, spies, and even government officials. Some with great success and others were just high class clientele. And due to her skill, others were just coming from around the globe. All of this work just grew and added to her status as a ripper doc, further giving her access to probably some of the best equipment the USSR had to offer. I can see Nina being either the daughter or related to a very powerful family or person that still resides in the USSR. All of my wild theories aside, it still doesn't shake the fact that through her lore, with her status and location, she has to be great at what she does. And her love for the wild and unexpected things that can happen in Night City to bring her plenty of entertainment will keep that boredom at bay. There is also one last theory that comes from the cyberpunk lore, theorizing that Nina and a very popular DJ going by the name of Baranova may be one and the same. The fact that in this lore, Baranova is a very popular and famous DJ from the Soviet Union with songs that are already on the radio. In my mind, I think of it like how doctors or police officers these days use social media and by way of art or entertainment can thus leverage their social media status, becoming more famous. Using that fame from being a DJ could lend itself as a very nice leverage in gaining popularity as a ripper doc. So even in the lore, it hasn't been confirmed if the two are one and the same. In this theory, I'm gonna go ahead and speculate that they are. If you want to hear Baranova tracks, check out 95.2 Samizdat Radio, where it is purely dedicated to nothing but Baranova tracks. These songs are very popular in the Empathy Nightclub, which that aspect ties back into my theory of how powerful Nina really could be. She's brand new to Night City and has the ability to completely dedicate an entire radio station to her alias DJ persona. I don't know about y'all, but it sounds like Nina got mad pull to me. With Nina's status as a ripper, combined with her nomadic traits, tied to someone who gets excitement from the nightmarish ways of Night City, and let's not forget, when she's not dropping the latest cyberware into a merc's brain, she is making ravers wait for the bass to drop as a popular DJ. And all of those things combined help transform Nina from a typical ripper to my favorite doc in Night City. And once again, my chromed out chooms, I leave it up to you. Are Nina Kravitz and Baranova the same exact person? Who's your go-to ripper doc? Let me know in the comments below. 
And remember, if you're not where you wanna be in life right now, every day that you wake up, you got another opportunity to get that much closer to the destination. It's always better and safer to take out your frustrations on the gonks and idiots and cyberpunk rather than your friends and family and the ones who care about you. So I'm always sending you positive vibrations. And until my next video, let's take off. I'm out. Peace.